What's going on everyone? K0LWC here. Today we're going to be talking about DMR hotspots and why you should get one. It seems like everyone's getting a hotspot and there's a good reason why they're becoming so popular. So before we talk about the one that I have specifically, let's talk generally first. Now when you're getting into DMR or digital radio, one of the things you're going to learn is repeaters function a little bit different in comparison to analog machines that you're used to. There are actually two time slots on each repeater, so you can actually have two simultaneous conversations going on on a single repeater. Now again, that's very different than analog. However, they tend to get a little bit busy. So one of the advantages of having your own hotspot like this is essentially it's like having your own repeater in your pocket or at your house. Um, there's only two time slots, and if you have a wide coverage DMR repeater, you may have a lot of people that want to have QSOs, which means that they get tied up. And typically, how most repeater owners set up their repeaters are, one time slot is for local communication, the other one is where you can connect to a dynamic talk group and maybe do a North America, worldwide, USA, something you know, cross country or across the world. That means that with only two time slots, uh, you may want to have a conversation, and the repeater is simply busy. Another benefit to having your own hotspot is you can configure static talk groups on here. That way you can program your favorites in and never miss a conversation that's ongoing. You may be wondering, what's a static talk group? A static talk group means anytime there's activity or traffic on that talk group, your hotspot will activate and send it to your radio so you can monitor what's going on, even if you're not dynamically linked in to that talk group. So again, a dynamic talk group, you have to push the PTT button and it will activate a talk group for about 15 minutes. Static means it's always on, always monitoring, and no matter what, when there's traffic, you'll hear it on your radio. Now, one of the things we always worry about when it comes to HTs is battery life. Um, the having your own hotspot, one of the beauties of these things are, you can actually keep your radio on low power all the time, conserving tons of battery life. If you're trying to get into a repeater from your house on your HT, you're gonna crank it up to high, or if your radio has a turbo mode, you're gonna be pushing full power, which is gonna reduce the length of time your battery is gonna last in a given day. But if you have your own hotspot, keep it on low power all day, and that battery is gonna last a long, long time. And finally, if you live in a location that doesn't have DMR in that area, this becomes a must. Um, or if you even do have coverage in your area, but you want to go on vacation that maybe doesn't have coverage, or you just want to take it around mobile with you and not tie up a repeater because you want to rag chew, um, this thing you toss in your vehicle, tether it to your phone, and you're on DMR. So again, these things are critical if you don't have access in your ear with a repeater, or um, you just want to go mobile and rag chew and not tie up one of the time slots, um, especially if you only have one DMR repeater in your area. So let's talk a little bit about mine. Um, what I have is a what they call a Pi Spot, which is a Raspberry Pi 3 with a DV Mega board. Let's take a closer look at it. All right, here it is, a little bit closer view of my Pi Spot. Uh, again, if you're like, what is a Pi Spot? Basically, it's a Raspberry Pi 3 board with a DV Mega board sitting on top of it. And if you're like, dang, that case is nice. Yes, I would agree. This case is beautiful protects it, makes it like a rock. Um, this is the DB Mega Hotspot case from Gigaparts. Highly recommend this case. Fantastic, fantastic piece. Um, taking a look here at this hotspot, um, this is again a Raspberry Pi 3, so you have all the usual things you'd expect. You have the USB ports and the Ethernet jack. Here on the side you have micro USB, HDMI, headphone jack, and then of course your micro SD slot here on the end. Sitting on top, you have your DB Mega Board, which has your antenna connector right here. Um, one thing of note though, if you're going to go this route, if you take a look right here in this section, you'll see it looks to be a black kind of support right here on the corner. See if I can get a closer view of that. Just be careful and know that you have to kind of uh, auger out this support. It's a 3D printed part. It's very, very easily splintered. Um, so when you're attaching this 3D printed part, um, just make sure that the screw hole is lining up perfectly and don't torque too much on it because you'll split that part in half. That's just a little tip for you. Um, also, you may have noticed here on the end with the micro SD, 
Um, with the micro SD card, a little trick for you, I learned from Jim N7 VDR, put a little scotch tape on the end of your micro SD. That way you can remove your micro SD card without having to tear apart the entire case. Because there are times where you might have to actually reformat um, the software you're running and you don't wanna to have to break this thing down. I mean, that would just be a pain. So um, highly recommend this tip. Great stuff from N7 VDR. Um, and I'm running Pystar, if you're curious, on this board. The coverage area of my hotspot um, with a nice high gain antenna like this um, is about a half a mile. The power on these things is 10 milliwatts. So you're talking just minimal power. But I set this up in a windowsill at about 40 feet in the top of my house and I got a half mile of coverage to my Anytone 868. So it does work fantastic. This will take care of you anywhere in your house, no matter how big it is. Um, this will work all around your yard. This will take you up and down your block. Um, this thing has just fine coverage to get you solid DMR uh, wherever you're at in and around your house. No problems whatsoever. Um, I also have this Retivas antenna. It's a flexible antenna um, that just helps out if I'm taking it mobile. If I screw this one on, it's much shorter and way more flexible than the high gain antennas. And the benefit of that is if it's in my car or in my backpack, um, this flexible antenna will not put as much stress on that antenna joint there on the DV Mega board. Um, so again, this is the Pi Spot. I highly recommend this one. There are tons of hotspots out there, but this is a fantastic one. Another benefit is Wi-Fi. This does have Wi-Fi on board. So I usually use Wi-Fi to connect here at home and when I'm on the go. So if I want to tether this to my phone using Wi-Fi, I can easily get this to my iPhone and get LTE network coverage and use DMR through my phone when I'm on the go. So you can access DMR and the Brandmeister network from, well, anywhere. So again, highly recommend the Pi Spot. If you have any questions on this hotspot or any others, check out Talk Group 31088 on the Brandmeister network. Um, it stands for Hotspot Discussion, if you see Colorado HD listed. Um, they know all about hotspots there. Jim, N7VDR, Bud, W0RMT, everyone there. Um, they love talking about these things and have all the answers for you. So definitely check out 31088 on Brandmeister. Um, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button right now. We're making a lot more videos. Would love to have you following along. And if you have any questions, drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching. This is K0LWC.